All right, so in the previous videos, I showed you how to install XAMPP on Mac OS X. And uh, it turns out that uh, Apache and PHP are uh, already shipped with Mac OS X Lion, so you don't need to actually install XAMPP. I got to know this while I was browsing some forums a uh, few days back. So let's jump into it and uh, see how to do this. So first of all, you need to open your terminal and you need to switch as a root user. Okay now, so we switched as a, as a root user and now we need to edit the httpd.conf file. So we need to do sudo nano slash private etc apache2 and there is this file httpd.conf. So now we are in the nano editor and we need to search for a line by the name of load module. So there are a couple of load modules over here. The one we are looking for is this one. The load module PHP 5 underscore module. Initially, this will be commented like this. All you need to do is remove this hash and then save it. To save the file, press Ctrl O and then press Ctrl X to exit. Okay, so now that we have enabled PHP on our Lion, uh, what we need to do is test it. But before that, we need to go to uh, System pr uh, Preferences and then we need to click on Sharing. So, so as to enable web sharing so that other people can uh, view our web pages and we can develop on our local machine. So initially, this will not be checked. You just check it. So when you're done with this, just close it and uh, open your browser and just type localhost so if you are greeted by this it works which it, it means that apache is running on your machine also after editing the file you need to restart apache so that can be done by sudo apache ctl restart so that will restart apache Alright, so now that we have Apache working, I'll tell you in brief where your web server is located on your hard drive. So for that, you need to go to uh, my computer. You need to go to your library. In this, you need to scroll down to web server and you need to go to documents. So this documents is the place where uh, all your code will go. It's like the ST docs for exam. So if I make a folder of temp over here and uh, I put an image inside this suppose I copy this image and I paste this image over here and then I access this from a URL so localhost slash temp slash powered by Mac OS X dot GIF it will show me this image so this is uh, just to test how your Apache is working now you need to test whether your PHP is working or not for that, in the, I am going to create a sample PHP script and uh, this PHP script will consist of a function. So we will start off with the PHP tags and we will write this PHP info function. What this function does is it will give you the information about the current version of PHP that is installed on your machine. So as you can see, I have that temp folder over here and in then in that temp folder, I created an index.php which contains this method. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my browser and I'm going to navigate to my temp directory and open my index.php file. If everything is fine, you should be greeted by this. So the current version of PHP is 5.3.6 that is installed on my machine. So now you have Apache and PHP both installed on your machine. You need not install uh, XAMPP. Okay, so thanks for watching guys. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, please leave them in the comments below and I'll be more than happy to help you. Thanks a lot.